Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today I want to talk to you about something we encounter a lot in our work with architects and designers, sustainability ratings. Specifically, we're diving into the three most common standards, BRIAM, WELL and LEED. These are the go-to certifications for anyone looking to create an environmentally and socially responsible space. Each one focuses on different aspects of a building's design, construction and operation. So let's break down what each standard is all about, their certification processes and where they overlap. We'll start with a quick intro to each of these certifications. We'll look at how they came about, where they're most commonly used and what sets them apart. First up is BRIAM. It stands for Building Research Establishment Environmental Assessment Methodology and it's the world's longest standing method for assessing, rating and certifying the sustainability of buildings. BRIAM was created back in 1990 by the Building Research Establishment in the UK. This was formerly a government laboratory, but it's now owned by the BRE Trust. BRIAM sets the benchmark for sustainability and has over 590,000 certifications globally. Whilst it's used worldwide, BRIAM is especially popular in Europe, Australia and New Zealand. Is a comprehensive standard that looks at the environmental performance of a building throughout its entire life cycle. Next, we have the Well Building Standard, launched in 2013 by the International Well Building Institute. Unlike BRIAM or LEED, Well is primarily focused on the health and well being of the people inside the building. It evaluates buildings across 10 categories air, water, nourishment, light, movement, thermal comfort, sound materials, mind, and community. So if your priority is the health and well-being of building occupants, well is your go-to standard. And finally, there's LEED, which stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. It was launched in 1994 by the US Green Building Council. LEED is a global standard known for its focus on sustainability and energy performance. It's widely recognized across 185 countries with over 105,000 certified buildings. LEED emphasizes energy efficiency, water conservation, waste reduction, and the use of sustainable materials. It's especially popular in North America, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Now let's take a closer look at how each of these standards works in practice and how their certification works. BRIAM assesses buildings across several categories like management, health and well-being, energy, transport, water, materials, waste, land use and ecology, and pollution. Buildings earn credits based on their performance in each category, and these add up to determine the final rating, which could range from pass to outstanding. It's especially relevant for large commercial buildings and public infrastructure projects. Well focuses on how a building supports physical and mental health. Its certifications evaluate aspects like air quality, natural lighting, fitness opportunities, and mental comfort. Well is globally recognized, especially in the USA, China, Australia, and Europe. Its latest version, Well V2, enhances flexibility and user experience for building projects and is really human-centered, making sure that the buildings promote the well-being of their users beyond just sustainability. LEED has four certification tiers, certified, silver, gold, and platinum, based on the points accumulated across categories like sustainable sites, water efficiency, energy and atmosphere, materials and resources, indoor environmental quality, and innovation. LEED projects also undergo periodic reviews and updates to keep up with the latest environmental standards. While each of these certifications has a different focus, they do share some common goals. All three, BRIAM, WELL, and LEED, aim to improve building performance and create healthier, more sustainable spaces. They provide frameworks to assess buildings and offer various levels of certification based on the points or credits accumulated. An important point, these certifications are all designed to evolve. Regular updates to BRIAM, WELL and LEED ensure they reflect the latest in sustainability science and building technologies. Plus, they all require independent verification, which keeps the process transparent and credible. You might ask, where do these three standards overlap? In recent years, there's been a push to align them more closely. For example, in 2016, the creators of WELL and BRIAM announced an agreement to make it easier for projects to pursue dual certification. This streamlining has reduced both the time and costs of certification. Similarly, a LEED and WELL streamlined certification process was created to make pursuing both certifications more efficient. In practice, all three standards address energy use, water efficiency, and the indoor environment. But where WELL stands out is its human-centered approach. 
Lead and Briam focus more comprehensively on the environmental impacts. So to wrap up, whether you're aiming for Briam's thorough environmental assessment, Wells focus on occupant health or Leeds emphasis on energy efficiency, each certification offers a path to making buildings more sustainable and better for their occupants. And with the increasing alignment between the standards, it's getting easier to achieve multiple certifications and create spaces that are not only energy efficient, but also healthy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and give me a follow on LinkedIn. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.